Okay, so today we're going to jump into how to set up Contractor Plus Payments. Now, Contractor Plus Payments is powered by WePay, which is a Chase company. Uh, there's some big benefits of, of, of using Contractor Plus Payments versus Stripe or Square or PayPal or another processor. Um, if you have a Chase account, you would get same-day payouts. Now, there is an asterisk there. Uh, just to clarify, what that means is once the payment's clear, in most situations, as long as there's no manual review, the funds would be deposited to your bank the same day. We typically see deposits going within 12 to 24 hours after uh, the payment's clear. Now, payments can undergo a manual risk review, <clears throat> which can uh, take up to three business days. So that would exclude holidays, and that would also exclude Sundays. Um, it can be a little frustrating waiting on things to, you know, payments to clear, especially when you need fast access to the cash. But what we've noticed is over time, usually the first few transactions um, take a little while, and then take a couple days, and then after that, you'll notice once the, you know you've established trust, and uh, the risk assessments will actually start clearing a lot faster. So very fast payment solution for contractors. Uh, once your account is onboarded and, and trust is established, you're gonna start getting your cash really fast, especially if you have a Chase account. Now, the other benefit is we let you pass the processing fees onto your clients, uh, which is really cool. And so we'll enter the access code here. Now, I am just going to use a generic the business name I'm going to call uh, read handyman services LLC read handyman so we're gonna to want to type in and the email address preferably the email address that's on your contractor plus account uh, your full legal business name so if that's an LLC make sure you add that if it's an incorporation add INC um, and etc. If you're a sole proprietor, you can just put your your actual first and last name. That's fine, or the name that's on your business license. The statement descriptor. So this is what's going to show up on your customer's credit card statement um, or bank statement, showing who billed them. So it's important that they can recognize the business name from this descriptor, and then make sure you type a pretty thorough description of what you do, what type of services you provide. Providing. Bathroom remodels. The more you provide here is the better. Boring, painting, drywall, and light electrical. And we'll just hit create account. Now, once I hit create account, it's going to send an email. The next step is verifying that email address. So when the so so once I get this email, then I'll be able to click that email to verify and we can go from there. So let's see if the email showed up yet. And as you can see here, um, well, let me drag it onto the screen, but we've got the email and I'm gonna click set password. Now that this is opened up, I can set a password. Now this will be the password for the Contractor Plus Payments account. If you want to set this to the same password you use for the Contractor Plus account, go for it. Um, do whatever you're going to be able to remember. But this will give you access to the WePay uh, Merchant Center, where you can see your transactions, see the transaction status, and uh, pretty much everything. Now it's important you go through this process. This process right here is part of the onboarding process we call KYC, stands for Know Your Customer. We need to know everything about your business to approve you to accept credit cards and bank transfers. So we're going to say that I'm a sole proprietor here and we are offering contracted services and we are going to say I do we'll just say general contractor and so Justin Smith and let me just make up some numbers here. This won't get approved because I'm just typing in some nonsense. But um, the idea here is put as much information about your uh, 
business as possible. Full service handyman company. And make sure you select your uh, country and the year of formation. And make sure you check no here, unless it's true. So read this. If you're affiliated with anybody doing business in Cuba, Iran, Syria, North Korea, or Crimea, and you check yes, you're not going to get approved for an account. So uh, if you are affiliated with any of these countries, don't even apply. Um, that's important. And we'll go ahead and hit continue. Make sure you go through this whole process here. Uh, I'm not going to finish it right now, but basically... Once you go through this process and you add your settlement bank information and it's all completed, then the WePay team will review your account, usually within 48 hours, and you will be approved. When you come back to this screen right here, this screen is going to change and it's going to show your access information. You can actually log right into WePay and you can start accepting payments uh, in Contractor Plus. Now, once you've set that up, we will automatically add the payment options to your um invoices. Now your clients can choose how they want to pay you. Do they want to pay you with credit card, debit card, or do they want to pay you with a bank transfer? And the bank transfer is very simple. Uh, we use a system called Plaid where they can just log into their bank account, do the transfer, uh, super easy, and that's all there is to it. Now there's one more thing I do want to show you, which is what it looks like after it's been set up. To show you that, I'm just going to log out of this account and log into another account that already has it activated. And gotta love these captions. There we go. And we'll navigate back to the settings and then scroll down to payments. And here we will see what it looks like after the account has been completely set up and approved. So you can always access the, the WePay account. Uh, you can edit your payment schedule. You can access your WePay account by clicking the email here or manage my payments account. Uh, you can update your bank account information. And you can also choose right here, who do you want to pay the transaction fees? So if you set this to my client, then it's going to show your client that there's a 2.9% fee. Uh, plus 30 cents per transaction, or there's a 1% fee for a bank transfer, and your client can choose how they pay. But the important thing to mention there is you're not paying the fees. At the end of the day, those fees, those transaction fees are actually getting passed on to your clients. So it's making you more money. Um, of course, we also offer other options here for those who don't want to accept uh, contractor plus payments, or for those who want to offer their clients some options. Uh, you can go for that. It's important to note, though, that you are unable to pass the transaction fees on to your client with any other payment option. So if you want to do that, you got to set up Contractor Plus payments. If you have any questions, reach out to support. We're here to help.